Whether you are a movie buff, gamer, or both, the LG C2 OLED TV and the Samsung S95B are two TVs that can satisfy the needs of virtually every consumer. It's enough to make a grown man cry. There are only a few high-end alternatives that can compete with these TVs. So the question is, which of these televisions provides the ultimate viewing experience? Let's find out. Design. Ultra-thin panels are a hallmark of OLED TVs, with some models sporting profiles even thinner than modern smartphones. As you would expect, the Samsung S95B and LG C2 follow the same pattern. When viewed from the side, the top half of the panels on the S95B and LG C2 practically vanish entirely. While both TVs are noticeably wider at their bases than at their tallest points, they are still thinner than the average TV. Comparatively, the S95B's panel is thinner than the LG C2's, so much so that you'll have to exercise extreme caution when handling the TV. Careful there, Nancy Drew. Careful! However, the LG C2 is noticeably lighter because of its use of composite fiber, which makes handling it more easier. Viewing Angles It doesn't matter which of these TVs you choose because they are guaranteed excellent viewing angle stability. The viewing angle performance of Samsung's QD OLED is excellent, and the image quality diminishes slightly at very broad viewing angles, but is otherwise nearly excellent. The TV's image remains stable from virtually every viewing position. The LG C2 also offers a perfect field of view. If your seating arrangement is quite open, you'll be happy to know that the pictures won't look washed out or darken dramatically at an angle, although it might be a bit lacking in handling reflections. We'll talk more about this very soon, so stay tuned. Picture quality and performance. Both TVs have high picture quality. However, because of the KD OLED-enabled panel, Samsung has a clear advantage over the LG C2. The LEDs in the Samsung S95B benefit from the use of both mini-LEDs and self-luminous pixels, allowing them to function more efficiently and shine much more brightly. Even if Samsung updated the firmware to lower the peak brightness, the OLED flagship is still one of the brightest TVs in its class. Just some made it, mama. That being said, the variation in brightness of the LG C2 and Samsung S985 with go unnoticed in most normal use cases. When it comes to contrast within the standard color range, you'll be in a great spot once again, thanks to the Samsung S95B's use of quantum dots. Colors on the Samsung QD OLED, particularly when displaying HDR material, have a vividness and intensity that are lacking on the LG C2. The S95B's color reproduction is excellent, especially for skin tones, pale blue skies, and gradual color changes. This is not to suggest that the LG C2's picture quality is subpar. It is one of the best TVs on the market, after all, but it's just a matter of superiority. That said, if you're looking for more options in the market, you can browse through our channel to access our reviews on other products, and don't forget to subscribe to receive alerts whenever we drop new videos. Smart Platform The LG C2 comes preloaded with LG's latest WebOS release, while the S95B is powered by Samsung's latest Smart Hub, their Tizen-based Smart Platform. Both systems provide an individualized home screen from which users can go to other interface areas and select various media. It's very neat and organized. According to LG, their innovative smart TV platform brings the user experience to life on LG's new TVs, delivering maximum convenience, which is mostly true except for the heavily featured sponsored material that comes with it. The same can be said for the Samsung S95B as well. While we are not fans of the heavy emphasis on advertisements on either platform, WebOS offers a better navigation experience. It is very simple to switch from one app to another on the LG C2. Conversely, the S95B frequently slows down and requires multiple button presses before a selection is registered. The Samsung S95B offers a gaming hub which we can't deny it's a convenience. We'll talk more about this and compare the gaming features both TVs provide later on, so stay tuned. Reflections Surprisingly, the S95B excels, handling intense sunlight and surrounding reflections better than the LG C2.
Images with a lot of dark areas are especially vulnerable to reflections. Regarding sensitivity, the Samsung model is a tad more forgiving. I'm sorry, you are forgiven. Each of the screens is treated with an anti-reflective coating. Reflections have been a typical instance where OLEDs have shown their vulnerability, so it's nice to see the Samsung S95B on top of this. One minor flaw is that both have a noticeable tint. The Samsungs are typically pink, while the LG C2s are generally purple. Gaming Both the LG C2 OLED EVO and the Samsung S95B KD OLED provide a variety of features, so it's difficult to pick a clear winner in this comparison. Both TVs offer the best gaming features you could ask for. From 4K resolution at 120Hz to a low latency input, you won't be disappointed. Sir, I promise you won't regret it. There's also AND FreeSync and G-Sync supports virtual reality refresh rate for both TVs. This means they can deliver video frames faster while reducing or even eliminating lag, judder, and frame tearing for more fluid and better detailed gameplay. However, if you're a fan of Dolby Vision, you should probably tilt toward the side of the LG C2 since the S95B does not support it. Oh, oh man, really? However, it provides a gaming hub that can be used for cloud games. The Microsoft Store, Xbox app, and GeForce Now are all included. This allows you to play video games on the TV without needing a dedicated gaming console. So that is a plus for the Samsung brand TV. If you like this feature, make sure you hit the like button. When it comes to visual performance, these two televisions are head and shoulders beyond. But for the perfect viewing experience, the Samsung S95B is our pick. It comes at an extra cost though, so you will have to weigh the pros and cons of the S95B's KD OLED display to determine whether or not it's worth it. If neither option suit you, you can wait for the next LG model, LG C3. In our next video, we'll talk more about that, so make sure you watch that too.